Mrs. Ginsburg, I told you you could get dressed. Are you sure you felt everything? I was leaving it out in case you wanted to do a double check. I'm sure. Okay, so what type of cancer do I have? I'm happy to report you don't have cancer. You have a hormonally induced mass that we refer to as pseudo cancer. It's actually quite common in women your age. Oh, the, why is cancer in the name? Because it presents itself as cancer, but fortunately for all of us, it's completely benign. Oh, thank God. So when do we take it out? Well, over the course of the next few months, depending on your hormone levels, it should be reabsorbed by your body. You don't need surgery. Oh, I think I do. If it walks like cancer and talks like cancer, it's cancer. So here's what I'd like. Open them up, both. Take out the cancer and the saggy parts. I'd like them high but still natural, like a teardrop. And could you please make the nipples smaller? Also the same size, because right now one is like a yarmulke and one is like an acorn cap. I'll keep that in mind, Mrs. Ginsburg, if you ever have breast cancer. But right now, this is just a hormonal side effect of menopause. It's nothing. I don't have menopause. That I have cancer. I'm going to write you a prescription for Xanax to help you deal with the anxiety you're clearly experiencing due to the onset of menopause. Would you stop saying that word? I don't need Xanax. I have a bathtub full of Xanax. You could write it for Percocet, though. All right, Mrs. Ginsburg. It was nice to meet you. Wait, can't you just check the box that says boob job? I could, but there's no such box, and I would lose my license. It's because we dropped the bomb, isn't it? I'm Korean. You say potato. I'm going. Drop a bomb and go.